days. Hi guys, Jared here at Irish Muscle and I'm joined by the two judges, David Keller. Hey, and how's it going guys? Hans Vogel. Vogel. Uh, guys, standard today was unbelievable in every class. What do you think, uh, who stood out to you most? Or? Um, I really uh, been impressive with the first timers and the bikini class. Bikini, once again, is the biggest class ever. Uh, absolutely amazing standard, really hard to judge and I'm happy that I didn't judge bikini class to be honest. <laughs> Very tough. Uh, yeah, and the first timers, top six, really hard to judge, you know, so Very definitely close. standard going uh, better and better every single uh, year. Hans, what do you think? Like the bikini, unbelievable. The ladies, the presentation, the walk the put into that presentation. No, the presentation alone. Phenomenal. I didn't judge it either. And I'm glad I didn't judge it. I enjoyed watching it. Every one of the girls that were on stage had put a lot of work in. You could oh, see yes. there was leg development, there was upper body development. Whereas in years before, there was people lacking maybe legs or some girls yeah. lacking shoulders. They're knocking it on the head yeah. now, they're, really. They're international standard now. Yeah, gonna, it's great for Irish bodybuilding. They going to Europe and I think they're going to do damage. Big time. Ladies yeah. definitely. Hey, we, we, definitely. Had to, we had today the, the, the former Mrs. Olympia, Natalia Milo, who was actually watching the, the bikini class. And uh, just with a short conversation we had with her, she said she was very impressive with the standard of the girls in Ireland. You know, and. Uh, she said that really good international world standards coming up to you. To come from an ex-Miss Olympia bikini champion, that really says a lot for Irish bodybuilding and Irish female bodybuilding yeah, especially. I, I was at the New York Pro last year and I'm on again this year and there's, late, there's girls up there that can hang with them. Really? Yes, well, that definitely. I've done the NPC show last year in November, Decent States, and there's girls here that would have won that. But but does, does, we've, we've Irish girls we have pros we've pro standard it's agree? just a matter of absolutely. time really to just get them out that's there all. That's all. Absolutely. Them so on the it's going to happen it's going to happen and it's going to happen they're going to take they're going to take it by storm yeah, so guys to all of you we have to Stay start tuned. working out yeah. really really hard to, <laughs> all to keep girls. the same standard as it goes <laughs> to get that standard up you've got to work hard they're going to take us they're going to take the men's the as I said, I can see the bikinis, the women, they're coming on big time. They're, they're going to have to split this into two days maybe in the future with the size of the classes coming in. I think this is probably the biggest show that has that's ever been held. The biggest show in the history. In the it's history of over 170 body. competitors. So, And this is Spring Classic, mm. which is always the smaller show in comparison to the national championship. So we could be talking 200 plus competitors. I'd say future. more, yeah. So easily 200 plus. Yeah. And I think that when we go there, we do need to break it down. Yeah. You do need to break Two down. days will be all right. Yeah. Actually, no. you, you're looking at being here since 11 o'clock this morning so with the registration and some of us were here last night with the weigh in you know and then we're coming here it's too hours. much it is very long but yeah. we have got we have got a head judge Tara Carroll she has rotated us like I only judge four categories yeah five categories. but you need and that I as a judge well. you have to have when you're you standing do. looking at a stage and you're staring you, you can't be able no. to judge where the standard should be you know as it goes on through the show you need to take your breaks in between and I think it was very well run. Today. And it was like quite smooth, I have to say, like 170 uh, people competing. And we start what time? Around 12, probably, yeah. right? Yeah. And we finished what time is it right now? 10 o'clock. Yeah. I think it's, it's now really bad, you know? 40 minute break in between. There's not very much. It was, it was actually the hall, soon. The hall it, is actually it ran quicker than the Nationals this year and a bigger class, so. Uh, yeah. I think the Federation just getting better and better, you know, and we are well more organized as, as, we, as we've been like the last year, for example. The Waterford Weightlifting Club, they're always very well organized. They have yeah. hundreds of volunteers. With Frank Haley involved yeah. here in it anyway. Yeah. Scobie Walsh. If you look around now with that camera, all you'll see is WWTC guys <laughs> carrying stuff. They're picking up the rubbish. Cleaning up you the know, whole place. Up. Ready. The whole place can actually be used again minutes. nearly in yeah. half an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Great to see. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Thanks to, to uh, David Geller and Hans Vogel. Thanks very much, And I guys. just want to... Um, Wish the Irish team the best of luck at the Europeans. I know we have a strong team going out. We are going to do damage, and in particular this man here. This man here. Thanks we so. wanted to bring it home this time, buddy. Wish him all the best. <laughs> and the ladies. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. And Thanks, all guys. the best for the Mr. Core, guys. See you soon. See, See you, you Bye. Thanks. Bye.